What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Microsoft Flow and we're talking about data operations and the Compose action. So, what is Compose? Compose is a data operation in Microsoft Flow that allows you to input something. So, you could input a number, you could input a string, you could input a email address, you could input a GUID. Now, why would you want to use that? It's very simple. If you have multiple uh, branches of a flow or multiple places where you want to use the exact same content, you can save yourself time and effort by putting it into a compose action. That way, if you need to, um, let's say you're updating a GUID. Um, a GUID is used to identify a, a record in a system. We're hard coding in the GUID when we move from a sandbox to a production instance, that GUID's gonna change. Now, if we're referencing that GUID throughout flow in multiple different places, then that's going to be a long, arduous task to go and update all those places. Uh, instead, we can update it in a single place if we use the Compose action. So, let's take a look at Compose. So, in the Microsoft Flow here, uh, we have a manual uh, trigger button in flow. We're going to click New Step, go to Built-in, Data Operations, and Compose. In here, I can put something like Hello World. Now, you'll notice I've misspelled Hello there. That is on purpose. Um, we can add a new step. We can send an email. So we'll choose Outlook. We'll send an email v2. Uh, in the email address, we'll put uh, my email address, geek at, g, uh, at gmail.com. We we'll put in the subject of test email. And then in the body, we're going to use the output from the compose action that we've got up here. So uh, we're going to save that. And we'll give this a minute to save. And then we're going to test it. So we'll, we'll perform the action here. Click save and test. We'll hit run flow. Uh, it says it's successfully run. Uh, and we can go through here and we can see that it's successfully done this. Uh, we've triggered it. We've then uh, composed this action, which is just this string of hello world. And then we've sent an email with hello world misspelled. Now at this point, I've kind of realized, okay, well, I've, I've made a mistake there. I need to update it. Instead of me going into each one of the actions, which could be just a single action, or it could be in multiple places across the system, uh, across Microsoft Flow, I can just go back to my Compose. I can update it in here. We can spell it right this time, and we can just test it again. We'll save and test, run through it, uh, run Flow, Everything runs successfully, send the email. We can now see that hello world is now correctly spelled. This will save people loads and loads of time, especially if you're doing things like email addresses, um, GUIDs and things like that. You may need to update in multiple places in the flow. If you use a compose action, you do it in a single place, there's a single place to update it, and then everything else updates after that. It's a great function. What do you guys think? Do you guys use this? What are your use cases for things like this? Is this something you use for moving production to uh, sandbox to production? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Please like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ciao for now.